Hi again, YouTubers. So this is a review that was requested like crazy um, from people when they saw it in my haul video. And it is, and actually before my haul video, when people saw it in my um, information box below that I was wearing it, people were like going crazy asking me information about this. And this is the Hourglass Ambient Powder. I have the color Dim Light. They are lighting powders. This is what the packaging looks like. It is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous packaging. Um, just Hourglass just knocks it off the chart every time with this, uh, with their packaging. It's beautiful packaging. Um, and a little bit of information about this is the basis of this information is, or this product is that they are made to give you the same effect as different lighting does. Um, pink lighting, you know, things like that. Pink lighting, I think it was, um, if you want the best information about this product, honestly, review-wise, um, Josh Collier, I will try and put his link with his review below. He works for the company. He swatched and reviewed all of them. And he is actually the person who um, I had talked back and forth with because they were only available online at first. So I talked back and forth with him about which color to get or which type to get because they range in everything from ones that have a lot of sheen to them, more like a highlighter, to ones that just have a light sheen to them that can be used all over, things like that. The dim one is kind of a good in-between because you can use it as a very, very, very faint highlighter, just more of a depth, or you can kind of use it all over. And I have not put this on yet, so what you see is I have no highlighter on my face. My face looks very flat. Um, I'm just gonna use my Sephora 55 Airbrush Brush. Now, you are supposed to use more of a thick brush. I forget, he has the brush. I didn't buy the brush, now I should. Um, but you can see just the difference in this side of my face to this side of my face. Look at that, like how pretty. And these do not make you look oily at all, like at all, like not even a little bit. Now you can use these all over, which as you can see, I'm using it way more places than I would a normal highlighter. But tell me if you can see the difference in my face. It just gives you a nice flushed, beautiful, healthy glow to your skin without looking greasy, without looking oily. Um, it has a amazing finish to it and is so soft. The texture is beautiful. Um, I will swatch it. This is what it looks like if you just see the swatch. Mm, there it is. Can't see it very well. There it is. Um, they, you're not really supposed to be able to truly see the swatches because these aren't made to be something that's like a blush that you swatch very easily. It's supposed to just give you a nice diffused look to your face, a very healthy looking um, flush, um, like like shine from within type of look, a healthy glow. Um, there is no glitter in this whatsoever. There's hardly ever even any sheen. Like you've really got to look for it to find that. But when you put it on, you can see that difference, that just pretty healthy glow on your cheekbones and things like that. And it's just gorgeous. I'm in love with it. Um, they do retail for $45 and the brush is $35. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six different colors. And each one gives you an explanation of it. And actually here, I can tell you a little bit more. There is um, Ethereal Light, which is an opalescent sheer cool white powder. There is Mood Light, which is a soft sheer lavender pink powder, which sounds scary, but the way he explained it makes way more sense. Um, Diffused Light, which is a soft, warm, pale yellow powder. There is Luminous Light, which is a champagne pearl powder. Uh, Radiant Light, which is a golden beige powder, and then Dim, which is explained as a natural peach beige powder, which is the one I got. So um, for more information on exacts and swatches of those, definitely go to Josh's uh, page, like hit that review. He has every swatch and every everything, and he has the brush there, so he can tell you more about the brush. Um, so product overall, I think this is a high five, like amazing product, like this, the packaging, the product, the application, the softness of the, like the whole thing is just awesome. Um, pigmentation for what it is, I'm not looking for this to be like a dark highlighter, shimmer, or any of those things. So pigmentation is amazing. It gives you that exactly what it's talking about, just nice, healthy glow to your skin. Like I just feel like it just got, and when you see it in person, it doesn't look 
overpowering. Like when you're out in natural light, it just looks very, very pretty. It does not look like forced. It doesn't look like placed highlighter. It just has a nice, healthy glow. Uh, texture is amazing. So pigmentation was a good solid five. Um, texture is a five. It is so soft and sm so smooth and just so nice feeling. Um, longevity, it stays on me all day without getting oily or greasy, which um, is my key can, like point of contention with things like bronzers that have shimmer in them and things like that. It's just, I really like just your traditional more matte look with highlight at certain spots. Um, you can also use this like on brow bones and things like that. It would look really pretty. Um, so longevity, it stays on me amazing. Application, so easy to apply. Um, I'm gonna watch Josh's video again on what his best way to apply it is. Um, he mentioned that there's a key with that type of brush and I have a type of brush like that, so we'll see. And I'll give that a try before I decide if I need that brush or not. So application is, even without that brush, honestly, I've been using this brush and it's just going on so nicely and looks so pretty. And this is just a really light, fluffy brush, Sephora 55. It's the old one. Um, and packaging. Packaging. You cannot beat their packaging. It's just gorgeous. Between, Honestly, I think it's right up there with like Chanel and Dior for packaging. Their packaging is just gorgeous. Just beautiful. It's just a nice bronze color. Like just how everything opens. Like look how pretty that is. Like it's just gorgeous. So packaging is a good solid five too. So I love this product. I think it's a really, really great concept. Um, I think I might try one more. Not sure. I might try that pink one. It just sounded interesting to me. I don't know why. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.